Howdy everyone. I've got a 18 Expedition, 65,000 miles on it, and I'm doing the cam phaser recall. Now I haven't done one of these in a while, and I wanted to finally get to the bottom of what the difference in these phasers are. I've got a new intake phaser here. And here's the part number. And here's what it looks like. See, it's got this cage around it. This is an exhaust one, but they look the same as the intakes on the old version. I think this is the third gen. We can see there's no cage around it. One other thing I noticed is it's it's a deeper collar. It goes it goes onto the camshaft further than the old version. So this is deeper than that. So I've taken these apart. I may have ruined this intake one because I can't figure out how to wind the spring back up. So I'm probably going to have to eat this one. But there's a couple key differences in there. First, of, first off, on this one rattled really good for like a half a second or a second when you started it up. And it's usually the intakes that rattle, but I'll show you the wear on this exhaust. Look at the wear right there. It's right in here. So it's not getting fully seated. It's like halfway up, just wanting to... The plunger's wanting to pop back out of that. So when it comes in, it'll, it'll just pop back out. The couple things I noticed, so on the old version here, the pin goes down into the back plate. So it goes down like that. And on the new one, the pin is in the center, I don't know what they call this, the, the, the center section that attaches to the cam. The pin goes up into this plate. So it's exact opposite of the old version. And you'll see the, the uh, slot for it is round. There's, it's not a weird shape. So it's just round and it goes in there and it looks like it's got a it's got two notches cut out of it. And uh, if I put this on here, you'll hear how positive the engagement is in this. Really crisp, positive engagement on that pin. And this one, so this original version definitely has a flaw. I don't know if it's the material um, or the way that the oil <clears throat> goes to evacuate out of it. And if it's hydrolocking, the pin can't fully engage in the slot. But they've done, done drastic difference in this one. And I suspect this will, will solve the issue. It looks like there may be a drain drain back slot like a channel right, right there right in there so there is the difference in those I've always wanted to know they are they are not the same at all you can see on the back of it it's got this rubber plunger that holds that holds a spring in there. But this looks like a, a much better design going into just one round hole. I suspect this will 
this should be the permanent fix, at least I hope. So there you go. I hope this answers some questions on these. Um, I still think, I still think oil, when I pulled this thing apart, this entire phaser assembly is completely full of oil. Every port in here is full of oil. And when it goes out this, for that pin to go in there and fully seat, oil's gonna come back out or it'll hydro lock it. And it looks like it comes out right through the slot here. So I suspect they, they're not fully seating and then eventually they're uh, wearing the edge of that round slot and it's not really even round. So there you go guys. Hope this answers some questions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.